there's going to have to be a dedicated incentive structure built out within academia specifically for disproving garbage. If right. you go and you disprove 200 papers or whatever, then, you know, you can get some kind of a significant degree or appointment. That's there's right. got to be an incentive structure for that. Right. What you're talking about is endemic. So you talk about the Lancet with, you know, COVID-19 and, you know, literally misleading reports or fab fabricated data, poorly constructed studies to show what they wanted it to show to mislead the public. Right. Um, I know that there's a lot that can be done by, for example, with drugs or supplements or whatever by adjusting the timing if you mm -hmm. start using the the treatment course three days too late it won't have an effect so you cook up some reason why you have to wait three days you know right. this kind of thing right. and but what you also have happening at the lancet and it's even worse at the new england journal of medicine is all this woke social theory has now penetrated in and they're publishing it like almost every other article so right. in, alongside serious medical papers, which we have to question whether or not they are activist driven or agenda driven and therefore are based on fraudulent data and results that have not been replicated. Um, we have to deal with ideological poisoning as well. Right. The same thing is happening on the other side of the coin. Like, you know, we talk about, you know, the murders, the deaths, the costs, the destruction. Well, we mm -hmm. know, for example, with the BLM riots and the fallout from that in the summer of 2020 bleeding over into the beginning of 21, we know that there was roughly 80 billion, $80 million, I'm sorry, of charitable donations to BLM billions of dollars. I don't know how many billions of dollars of damages across cities 20 some 30 some odd at least people died goodness knows what the trickle down effects from that are uh, including you know policing backing off how many people have died from violent crime in, in chicago because of this these are real problems that have come up as a result of blm but the right. narrative that the police are systemically racist was based off of a series of papers other than just the the you know critical race theory narrative it was primarily based off of a series of allegedly empirical papers that were published by a guy named i think his name was eric stewart at the like florida state or at the university of florida one or the other and it turns out he just made it all up. He's been, right. He actually got fired despite his tenure and right. despite being, you know, a, a black scientist or whatever in these DEI conditions, he still got fired um, because his, his he just made stuff up so egregiously. But still, we have to deal with this damage. So we have this these two problems. There's another problem that's called the replicability crisis in the social sciences, social psychology primarily, where um, they are not able to reproduce the results that are coming right. out. You get a lot of, in other words, the incentives are wrong again. You get a lot of credit for some big splashy result. You don't get any credit really for testing a hypothesis and finding out that nothing very interesting is going on. And then nobody really gets any credit for revealing that some other study that was done was crap. And right. so we have this problem. So this actually goes into what do we do when I say we have to have an, this is not for you or for me, I guess citizen academics doing their own research can contribute in large ways. So maybe, yeah, if you have some research skills and want to do some digging and you can put it together. But the fact of the matter is that what we're going to have to start accepting as a gold standard in science is, in fact, not peer reviewed studies alone, but peer reviewed replicated studies. Right. If the study hasn't been replicated, then the study can't make it into the research literature because the replication crisis is is obscene and these other problems the incentives are still all wrong to get published and those become your incentives to get tenure hiring promotion you know chairs conference invitations everything in the world and your whole academic career revolves around getting papers published successfully and it turns out that it's as ever 10 times easier to write BS than it is to figure out that somebody's written BS or a hundred times easier to do BS than to do real work.